You are watching Content with Candace. In today's video, we have a coach unboxing, you guys. That's right, we have a coach unboxing, you guys. And I just want to go ahead and unbox it this evening. And I know you can hear it in my voice. I am very tired, but I cannot open this box without my YouTube subscribers and future subscribers. Just want to say thank you for those of you who have been subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate your support so very much. If you have not already and you're listening to this video right now and you like this type of content, go ahead and click that subscribe button on this channel. I do unboxings. Mainly, I like to do collection videos. I like to do unboxings. I like to do reviews. And I like to also just give my input on the current handbags and just give you some information that I've learned from my own personal experience. Hopefully that information will help you as well. If you like this type of content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And please share the video with those who you know will enjoy the content as well. Okay, you guys, let's get into it. Before we get into our unboxing, I'm gonna slide the box out the way for a second. As you can see, I am still carrying my coach may cross body i do love this bag you guys it is an awesome bag and i'm still in it i'm two days over into it this week you guys so i was thinking since i'm traveling for thanksgiving you guys i was thinking about going to one of my travel bags i've already changed out to one of my amazon straps put that on there and i still may do that I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and switch into it, but I'm just enjoying being in this bag. And I normally like to downsize when I'm going on a trip, when I'm traveling. When I'm traveling, I normally like to downsize to the smaller bag. This is the John Michelle hexagonal crossbody. But I'm thinking, depending on if I have time, I may just stay in this one since I won't be taking a flight this time. It will be a road trip. So I may change into this young lady right here, or I may choose to just stay inside this bag as well. So here's our box. I received it from the Coach Outlet store. The box looked real good when I received it. So let's go ahead and let's open up the box and let's see what we have on the inside. And always, I like to get my first impression of the item inside the box. This is from the Coach Outlet store, so you know how they do it, guys. They always just put the item in the box. And here's what the item looks like coming out the box. It does appear to be a brand new item. So let's put the box to the side. So thick. This is the Napa letter, you guys. And this is, let me make sure you can get a good look of her. This is the Nolita 19. And as you guys know, I love, oh, she feels so nice. And look at the hardware. It's just so beautiful. Such great quality on this. This is Coach's Napa leather. There's the bottom. Once you get the side view, front view, the other side, and the back. And there's the bottom again. And she looks really good, you guys. She looks really good. The top view. Okay, I'm checking her over, just kind of checking things over, see how she looks, guys. You know my policy, I'm going to pull everything off just to kind of make sure everything is 
looking great. Y'all know I love these bags. I don't need another one, though. I need to stop because I'm starting to collect these now. And you know, you know you're starting to become a collector when you, this is your third one and you haven't used any of them. But you guys know what I like to do with my Nolita 15s and 19s mostly is put them in my bigger bags as catch-alls. I mostly use my Nolita 15s, but I can see where I can use these inside a bigger tote. So here's what she looks like, and here's what the inside looks like. Let me get the packaging out. She has two card slots here and here. You can put your cards there. And then on the opposite side, very nice fabric on the inside. Feels so good. The fabric lining feels so thick. And then this feels so thick and sturdy. Notice the details, the cord details on this bag. And then the chain. You can also see these two hooks right here. You can also add a coach chain to that and make it a little night out handbag. Or on those occasions when you don't need much of a bag. And her over, you guys. She looks very good. I don't see any issues at all. I love the chain on these Nolita 19s. I love the leather. This is some of the best leather that Coach has next to the pebbled leather. Very good quality. Love this leather. So let's just bring the whole family out. If I can get them to stand up. The one in pebbled leather. Still haven't used it. We'll use it. Here's the one in the black on black. That's all three of my Nolita 19s. I tell you what, let's go ahead and bring out the Nolita 15s as well. This is the one from the Signature CC collection. And here's my all black Nolita 15. And here's my denim Nolita 15. Here's my orange Nolita 15. And this is my mini Pochette SS Law. I decided to let her join the family as well. Although it's a Louis Vuitton item, it's not a coach item. It is similar, similar use. I actually use this item for the same use as I use my Nolita 15s. So, and every single one of the Nolita 15s I have used. Now, I've used this a lot, too, because this right here is a little thinner material uh, canvas, and I can kind of fit it in small places better. That's what I like about this little item the most. I love these items as well. But as you can see, you know, Coach don't have to do nothing. You know how they do. They make, the, uh, make everything so thick and sturdy. So, but this here, I, I really enjoy this little piece. So, these are all of my little small Nolitas. This is not a Nolita, of course, but I use it like I do my Nolita 15s. Hello, everyone. We're on the road again, traveling. As you guys know, I am been in this May crossbody bag for over a week now, which is unusual for me. I normally switch out every week on a Saturday or Sunday, and I'm going to attempt to switch into this no coach no leader 19 i've been wanting to carry this and i said i like my small bags for travel bags so we're gonna see what we can do i will update you later hello guys i've got her packed and ready to go i hope everybody can hear me okay i'm shooting this real late at night i just wanted you guys to see that i it did work out for me 
and I want to show you what I put in her. Of course, you know, I had to downsize quite a bit. But when you're traveling, a lot of the things you don't need. So here's how I'm carrying her. These are my chain strap that I bought off the Coach Retail website. My little Rexy on there. I will more than likely take that off just to keep me from losing that. So let me show you right quick what I have in my bag. I know you've seen this one earlier in the video in the color red. Have a rubber band to my headset. A little pack of hand sanitizing wipes. My gum. Wet ones. And as you can see, I had to put things in individually. Disinfected wipes. Air foam wipes. Got my earrings. Pack of Kleenex. Got chapstick. Hand sanitizer. Got a big giant bottle of lotion here, as you can see. And got my room card, toothpick, placard, and then I got here my ID on this side and the two card slots. I'm not going to show that on camera, but I do have my ID and my credit cards there. And then in the slip pocket, I have my cash, some change, and my key fob. So, yes, this baby did work out for me quite well. And I told you I would update you and let you know which one I'm using. So, yes, I am using this one right now. All of this. And this. Everything you see here came out of this bag. Thank you all so much for watching. Once again, I really appreciate your support on my channel. So thankful so far. I think we're standing now at 639 subscribers. So thank you so much. You're so appreciated. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.